What's going on, man? It's your big bro, Tran. You tuned in once again to another exclusive video. And if you know like I know, them Kansas City Chiefs gonna win the Super Bowl, baby. You already know what time it is. Nah, real talk. If you know like I know, man, don't nothing happen by mistake. Everything happens for a reason. But I'm about to talk to you about some real shit in this video, man. And I feel like it don't really get acknowledged because, again, it's the truth. One thing you gotta understand is like when you telling the truth, it's not gonna be popular. People are not gonna like it. You know, people are gonna undermine it and act like they don't hear it or something because it's just too real. You get what I'm saying? But anyway, I don't know if this been happening to you, but um, I've talked to several people who had this happen to them, and I just want to address this. But don't it seem like it? Don't it seem like no matter how good you're doing in your life, no matter what you have completed, you know, no matter how successful you're becoming. Um, no matter what you trying to, your goals that you trying to reach or anything, don't it always seem like nobody ever sees that or nobody ever notices that? And it'd be like, you be like loud with it too. Like you be like showing the whole world, like, uh, you, you know, I do this for a living. I can do like, it's just like nobody ever notices all the good things you do, but it's like, they always going to see the flaw in you. They always going to see your flaws. You could be doing, it's like you could be doing a million things right. You know what I'm saying? You could be doing the best you possibly can be doing in your life every single day. Why nobody ever notices that though? You know, why nobody ever say nothing about it? Nobody, nobody don't, nobody don't congratulate you or nothing. Nobody throwing no party for you or nothing. Nobody, you know, nobody's giving you no recognition or nothing and saying like, like, God, man, like, I really am so proud of you and what you are doing with, nope, they, it's, it's just crickets. They don't say nothing about it, do they? But ain't it funny? Because that one time that you do something wrong, that one time you don't do something for them or for somebody that's close to you, some, that one time that you make a mistake, it's like, oh, that is the perfect storm for people to start ridiculing you that just because that one thing that you do wrong here they come yeah right yeah you did this and you did this and you you ain't did this and you ain't did this. it's like it's like it's like they couldn't wait for it to happen they couldn't wait for some bullshit to happen that you get yourself into for them to speak up and say something like yeah you're a bad person yeah 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 and you're this and you're that and you know god's gonna get you and get, like like it's just like what but they don't never notice all the good works of your hands, do they? They don't never notice all the great things that you've done, do they? They don't never talk about all the times you have helped them out, right? All the times you have uh, 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 took the shirt off your back and gave it to them. They don't recognize that. They don't remember that, do they? They don't remember the times you took them out and you 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 was buying them stuff when you was shopping with them. They don't she don't remember, bro. She don't remember all the bags you don't bought her and all the shoes you don't bought her and everything and all the dinner dates you don't took her out on. You don't spend hundreds of dollars on. But that one time, that one time you make a mistake. Oh, you the devil. You the devil. And folk and, and it's crazy, man, because that's how people is, man. You know why? Because in our society, people are programmed to be like that. They program. They hate what they love and love what they hate. That's people. That's how people is. I'm going to say that one more time. They hate what they love and they love what they hate. So if you are a person that's on your grind, you own your hustle, you own your shit, just be, just be used to people not even acknowledging. They're not going to say nothing about it. Only thing they're going to do is, only thing they're going to do is talk about you behind your back when you, you're not even knowing nothing about it. That's what they do. They're going to talk about you. They're going to gossip about you behind your back, behind closed doors. You know what I mean? When you're not even around, when you're not even around, they're going to put dirt on your name. You feel me? And it's just that's just how they is. Because there's some Decepticons. That's what people do, bro. They don't. We live in a world where people shun goodness and praise and praise negative energy. That's the world we live in. They shun goodness. So, like, if you look good, you might be the best looking person in your family. You might be a girl. You might look good. Everybody know you got the beauty genetic. They already know you look good. They already know you. your body look better than most of the other, other women in the family. Guess what? They ain't never going to say nothing about, girl, girl, where, where you working out at? Um, what you eating, girl? I'm trying to get on the diet that you want. Or who, 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 do, who do your makeup? Or how do you do your makeup? 
You know what I'm saying? Or like, how do you put your hair? Who put your hair in for you? They never going to call you to get the instruction and a rundown on how to do what it is that you do. You know what I mean? Man, hey, hey, bro, like, hey, I see you got this set up, bro. Like, can you teach me how to get the same shit set up? Because, bro, I've been checking you out, bro. And, um, you know, I'm your boy, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, I'm your, I'm your, I'm your uncle, you know what I'm saying? Or I'm your cuz, you know what I'm saying? And I just want to let you, I just want to say, bro, that shit you doing, I'm trying to get my shit like that too. Can you please teach me, sis, how to do it, sister? They ain't never going to say nothing like that. They ain't, they ain't never going to try to come to you and try to ask you for no help. Because like I say, bro, most people got a pride issue. It's an ego issue. It's like if I go to, it's like if, if like you my boy, right? And, and, and I know you doing something prominent with your life. I know you, you know what I'm saying? You trying to be the, you trying to be the next track athlete, Olympian or something. And I'm just hanging around you chilling and I want to run too. Why don't I ask you how you train? I just come to you. I, I should be able to come to you and say, hey, can you train me? Or, you know, or can I come and watch you train, dog? I really want to, I'm trying to be an Olympian fast runner too, just like you, the next Usain Bolt, man. But guess what? These people so d damn dirty, they won't even acknowledge and say nothing. To me. And the shit be they, they be, they be knowing what you do. But like I said, the only time, the only time they will speak up and they will, they will say something to you, the only time that she will like, you know, congratulate you or even try to come out the woodworks and say anything to you is when she see you making one mistake. You take one damn picture with somebody that they don't know, all hell going to break loose, especially if it's somebody the opposite sex. All hell is going to break loose because that's what they love. Like people love, basically people love to see when you're not doing something right. Because like I said, it validates them to make them feel like they're doing better than you. You feel what I'm saying? They love when you ain't doing something right. They can't they love when the news is going around, going around about what you didn't do and what you can't do and what you ain't do. Because that makes them feel like some type of validation, like, yes, yes, they not doing that right. I knew they wasn't all that. And that's just the perfect fertile ground for them to talk shit about you. But they never I repeat, but they never ever is gonna acknowledge all the good things that you have done. That that shit is invisible to them. It's invisible to them. It's invisible. They never gonna talk about all the money that you have given them. What the hundred what the thousands of dollars go? Oh, they don't remember that shit. They just remember the only time you told them you can't give them no money that day. You feel me? They don't remember that. What about all the times I did? What about all the times I did ride you around when you didn't have no car? Oh, they don't remember that shit. That one time, that one time you tell them that they can't ride with you, it's over. Friendship over, number blocked. You feel me? Because that's how people is, bro. They hate what they love and they love what they hate, bro. The first time I started noticing people acting like this, I stopped messing with them, man. I don't mess with people like that. You know what I mean? And, they, and, and listen, they're gonna, that's going to that's gonna be another reason they can find something on you. They're going to say, they're going to say, uh, uh, they're going to say, yeah, he think he's some, or he think he's somebody uh, special or something like this. He, do, he don't talk to me. He cut me off. He think he better. That's another excuse for them to have to be able to put a, get, to be able to stamp to your name. It's because you don't want to stand around and listen to their bull crap. You don't want to sit around and listen to their bull crap. And they know they fake. And as soon as you stop messing with them, and as soon as you cut them off and you don't mess with them no more, oh, you the, you the villain. You the villain. You the bad person. And listen, you ain't got to be doing nothing wrong, folks, for these people to start talking and putting dirt on your name. You ain't got to be doing nothing wrong. Okay? People don't think about it. People don't talk about you now unless you is doing something right anyway. Okay, if you're not doing nothing, then nobody ain't got no choice. No, nobody don't have a reason to talk about you. But you know you're doing something good when your name is in a lot of people's mouths and they're not even around you. They're not even there. You feel me? And it's sad. They don't even they don't even know that they being they program. They don't even know they program, bro. You feel me? And you know what I'm saying it's just like it's cra it's 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 crazy. You feel me? So if you like the if you like the the, the the breadwinner in your family, or you know what I'm saying, if you just on your hustle and you just doing your thing and you know you're you're just focused on making your life the best life you can possibly make it, you know, to, uh, trying to uh, feed your kids, family, or whatever this and that, you just focus, tunnel vision focused on what you got going on. 
That's perfect for people to start talking about you. That's perfect for people to start looking at you some kind of way. They'll find anything. And if you do anything wrong, if you get a ticket, that's perfect. They're going to start talking about you more than ever before if you get a ticket. If you break up with your, with your specific person and y'all been together for X amount of years, that's the perfect conversation for somebody to start talking about you. You know what I'm saying? If they see you drinking... If they see you, if they see you drinking while you uh, just chilling with some people, they're gonna say, "Oh, he he, he an alcoholic, y'all. Look, he drinking, and they be drinking too. Or oh, look, they if you or if you smoke weed, he 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 a pothead. I ain't doing nothing but smoking all that pot. You smoke too, dummy. But see, this is how they do. They." They always want to find something on you that can stick to make you out to be a bad person. Anything, anything, bro, anything. If you take a picture, if you take a picture with a hot, sexy chick, bro, bro, you're going to get more likes and comments on that picture than any other picture that you ever took. Why? Because it's what, it's what people love to hate and hate to love. They see you with another chick, bro. The first thing that come to everybody's mind when they see another person with the opposite sex, uh, sex is what? Sex. That's people. They program. They dumb down. You can just try to experiment, bro. Just try to experiment. If you a lady, take a picture with a handsome man like Big Bro Trend. <laughs> I'll be surprised if you find him. Or if you a fella, take a picture with a beautiful, sexy, you know, banging body type woman. To tell her to take a little bit of clothes off. I guarantee you that picture is going to have so many negative comments on it. And at the same time, it's going to have so many likes on it at the same time. Why? Because people don't want to see you do good. They don't want to see you do good. You can take a picture in front of, you can go into the, uh, you can just try these experiments and just see, and I'm going to prove it to you how, what I'm saying is true. Just go to the VIP section or the valet or something in the, outside somewhere. And then you take a picture in front, have somebody take a picture of you in front of a fly car. You're going to see so many negative comments at the bottom of that picture. They're going to say, that ain't your car. You ain't that when you get a new car, all kind of shade gonna be thrown at you and stuff like that. Like, oh, you, 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 you capping, ain't you? You capping because that's how people are. They don't want to see you do good, period. No matter if you are, if you are doing good, that's why so many people don't like you. They didn't never tell you this growing up. They didn't never tell you that people gonna like not like you because you just trying to be do the right thing. You just trying to be successful. You just trying to break out. You just trying to make something of yourself. You just trying to break the generational curse in your family. You just trying to just be something that leaves a legacy. You just trying to be the best you can to make ends meet for yourself and everybody else. They never told you that everybody that is close to you will not like you for that, did they? They didn't never tell you that. But that's reality. People don't like it. They never going to notice all the good that you're doing. That's why it's like crickets. Whatever you got going on in your life right now, and you just like looking for some type of like, some type of person to just say, I see you. I see you. I just want to let you know, keep going. It ain't going to be people that's close to you. It ain't going to be your colleagues. It ain't going to be your coworkers. It ain't going to be your husband, your, your girlfriend. It ain't going to be your family members. It ain't going to be none of them. It's going to be complete strangers from in a whole nother country be sending you money through PayPal. It's going to be them. It's going to be strangers. It's going to be people that you don't even know from somewhere, from a different, whole different race that, that see what you got going on. They're going to say, wow, you are amazing, man. Ain't that a damn shame? It take a whole stranger, a person from a whole different race to be able to look you on your Instagram or something and say, wow, you are an amazing person. What is it? Can, can you help me teach me what you do? It'd be strangers, bro. It won't be the people that's close to you. It won't be your best friend. Your best friend be the ones that hate you the most. Your best friend be plotting on your downfall the, the hardest. Your homeboy be the one be trying to set you up to get you robbed. Your own homeboy. Your own family members be the ones talking behind your back because you is doing something with your life. Your own family. The ones that sat there and saw you grow up as kids be the be the be the be the enemies talking down on you just because you doing good. Ain't that sad? That's sad. But see, once again, folks, this is that um, that's that American program shit. You feel me? They don't act like this in other countries. 
Family in other countries, family stay together, bro, like Mexicans. You feel me? You know, uh, 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 the, the 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 wife, the girlfriend, stand up for her man and other families and stuff like that. When he when he like uh, he on TV or he doing something good with his life, she there for him. She like she like I I I Aisha Curry. She like right there at the games. Like that's my man. That's my man right now. Like she ain't somewhere back hating. Like I can't stand my. I'm jealous. How can you be jealous of your own specific partner? Because you jealous of your own partner because your partner got a business. How can you be jealous of your own daughter or your own son? Your, your kids are supposed to be the greater version of you. They supposed to be more smarter than you. They supposed to look more better than you, be more intelligent than you, have more gifts than you. Your kids are supposed to be more fantastic than you are. It's a so sad, ain't it, that your own goddamn parents be jealous of you, bro. Because once again, folks... They program and they they talk to be like that. It's just like a person that's racist, folks. And racism doesn't exist. It only exists because it, it only exists when it's taught to somebody to hate this culture or this type of people when they just kids. People teach that to their kids, and their kids grow up thinking that they don't like the reason why they don't like this these type of people is because it's supposed to be like that. It don't. It was taught to them to be racist. You feel me? It was taught to them. It was programmed into their mind to be hate this person because he that color. Failing to realize that nobody picks their color when they come out the womb. It's a, it's ignorance. It's ignorance. It's the same thing I'm telling you right now in this video about how good you're doing with your life and what you're trying to be a, a successful in. Don't expect people to say nothing. Don't expect people to congratulate you. Don't expect people to throw you private parties. Don't expect people to acknowledge you and 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 and, and send you gifts and stuff like that because of your accolades and what you have done with your life. They never gonna ever do it. Okay? The only time they're gonna speak and they're gonna say something, the only time they're gonna really let you be uh they're gonna break, they're gonna come out is when you do something wrong one time. That's the perfect time for them to say. Put some dirt on your name like they did Birdman. It's the same thing. That, that's the perfect time. They never seen all the hard work and all the people that Birdman put on. You feel me? They don't they'll never see all the record deals he done gave everybody and stuff like that. They just they were just waiting on that one time that you fuck up. That gives them all the reason as to why you such a bad person. It's because you, make, you do one thing wrong. Knowing good damn well ain't nobody on earth perfect. But see, that's just how they think. They like, okay, well, you always doing so good. Since you made this mistake, you was you a bad person. Okay, well, to whom is without sin, cast the first stone then. To whom is without sin, cast the first stone. And see, can't nobody cast it because everybody do wrong too. But see, this is just, this comes with the territory when you're trying to be successful, when you're trying to be your greatest version, when you're trying to focus on yourself and, and make yourself the best you can possibly be. You're just going to have people that just envy you. They don't like it because it ain't nothing wrong with you. You feel me? And they never going to notice all your good that you do. You just make one mistake. That's going to be the perfect time for these Decepticons to make you out to be a bad person. Out of all the good shit you ever done done, none of that gets counted. Only the bad mistake gets counted. You know why? Because you the chosen one. It's your big bro trend, man. I can't make this up. Thank y'all so much for tuning into this video. If this video resonated with you, save it. Make sure you don't leave the video without comment and below. Lost, seed, lost information for the chosen ones is below volume one, volume two. If you want those, those um, secret vaults of information, make sure you get those. Volume one, volume two is below. If you need to book a session with big bro, make sure you book a session with me. If you want to Donate some good to my channel. My PayPal will be below, Henderson at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Peace and blessings to you. Stay great. Keep God first. It's your big bro, Tran, man. Out.